Ashes of Creations Alpha 2 unfortunately did not grace us with its presence at the end of 2022 or even with an announcement of the next stage of testing. And although I have very high hopes that we'll see Alpha 2 this year, it might be time to start thinking about what you can play to get you to stop watching those same Ashes gameplay videos over and over and over again while you wait. Well, lucky for you, I have a couple recommendations to jump into. And no, this isn't going to be one of those videos that lists every MMO that is currently out there because there are a lot of them and a lot of them suck, but there are a couple that I personally enjoy playing. You might not, but if you don't, you don't. And then there's another one that is on the horizon that we should expect in the next six months that I will be jumping into. And that one is Throne and Liberty. Throne and Liberty is an upcoming MMORPG by NCSoft that has been in development for more than 10 years. And if you are excited for Ashes of Creation, this might be your best bet at quenching that thirst until we get through Alpha 2. Throne and Liberty was originally a sequel to Lineage, a game that Ashes of Creation's creative director Stephen Sharif put a lot of time and money into back in the day and has taken much inspiration from when developing Ashes of Creation systems. Throne and Liberty is said to have a completely open world, which even includes PvE dungeons. These dungeons will have multiple layers where you can use traversal equipment such as the grappling hook to get you to the areas that you want to explore quickly. If you're more into PvP, there will be objectives in the world that guilds can fight over and take control of, Siege Warfare, which has players attacking or defending castles, which also allows for players to turn into what I am calling siege creatures, which are massive beasts that can destroy walls, transport other players, and infiltrate the castle. This massive open world will feature minimal fast travel, but allow for players to transform into creatures such as eagles and wolves to get to locations faster. Unfortunately though, character-wise, there's only one race to choose from, being humans, but you will be able to customize your character through the character creator, along with transforming into various creatures within the game. The big downside to Throne and Liberty though is, if you know NCSoft, then you probably know that you will be paying lots of money in this game to get the best gear. NCSoft is known for their pay to win elements in MMOs, and although not much has been commented on how exactly their monetization plans will work, it's something that you may want to keep an eye out for if this bothers you. If you can look past that potential pay to win aspects though, Throne and Liberty may be a great option for you to get into until Ashes of Creation is finally here, as it's said to launch within the first two quarters of 2023, so by June roughly. This game will be out on PC and also PS5, so if you're a console gamer, you'll finally have an MMO that's not Neverwinter to jump into. I know a lot of you are going to hate on this one, but if you're looking for a more casual approach to MMORPGs, World of Warcraft Dragonflight is actually very enjoyable. Blizzard hasn't exactly had the best track record in the last few years, but the Warcraft team appears to be pouring their heart and soul into the expansion, taking on player feedback, updating old systems that are in desperate need of it, and really trying to bring the game back to life. This is the first time in a very long time that I have felt it necessary for me to log into the game every day just to do quests, grind out that arenas and get my vault unlocks done. And this is just the beginning for Dragonflight, because for the first time in WoW expansion history, they have given us a roadmap on the development plan for the game. So waiting months for a whisper of the next patch isn't a thing this time around, and we already got our first content patch coming at the end of January with trading posts, a new Primal Storm event, and the highly requested white and grey transmogs, along with the next content patch expected in the spring. If you're constantly on the road and looking for a mobile MMORPG to play, well, there's only one that I would ever recommend playing because most mobile MMOs are garbage, and that is Old School RuneScape. Yes, that game that you probably played way back in middle school is still going strong with over a million active daily players. Not much has changed since you last logged in either as you're still clicking your way through the very familiar map, interacting with players, completing quests, leveling skills, and PKing in the wild. But there are various events and updates coming in the first half of 2023 alone, along with numerous updates in the past that you probably missed if you haven't been following along. So if you really want that nostalgia feel, I'd highly recommend jumping back in to get that 99 wood cutting, as RuneScape's clicking controls really work great on a mobile phone, and honestly, it's again the only mobile MMO that I would ever recommend. It just works great, it's really fun to play, and it's something to pass the time. 
There are many other MMOs out there, such as Final Fantasy Online, Block Desert Online, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Elder Scrolls Online, and more that are constantly getting updated and do a good job at sucking you in and occupying your time as you wait to finally get your hands on Ashes of Creation. But those MMOs, I just don't invest really any time into actually these days, mostly because taking on more than one MMO at a time is a huge time investment that I don't currently have. But let me know in the comments what you were playing to pass the time until Ashes of Creation graces us with its presence. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use the referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.